Hello everybody, it's Nick and Marty for the Rational Webcast for the 30th of November 2015. Say hello Marty. Don't hello, do it, don't do it, don't, son <laughs> of a bitch. Today we're talking about Konami and the fact that there is a secret in MGS5. We're talking, <gasps> okay, <laughs> I like that. <gasps> My god. My god. Uh, Good War, coming to PC. Ooh. Just Ooh. Cause 3 and its specs and a day one patch. Uh, yeah. Some PS4 crap. This is all sure. very interesting. And uh, chivalry actually proving that PS4 is not crap. So, how's everything <laughs> going this week, Marty? Played any good games? I have played some good games. I played Emily is Away, and I am still emotionally scarred and perhaps retarded. You are crying. There's a video of you crying on the internet now. Nobody I didn't cry. I specifically didn't cry. You, well, you wanted to, though. You could hear it in your voice at the end. I My voice broke a little bit. That could be some <laughs> oh, late-onset puberty. She, I'm not she sure. She left me. <laughs> 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 you just... You just... I think I think most of your crying fit was more the nostalgia of it all. Like, oh my god, I haven't used anything like this in years. Um, yeah, we'll stick with that. <laughs> it I... wasn't that any of it touched a nerve at all. I've got you back, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro. Um, how about yourself? How are you getting on? I have been playing lots of Fallout 4 and Elite Dangerous. Uh, I'm trying to travel to the center of the galaxy in Elite Dangerous, and it's. It's it's more difficult than it seems because uh, you walk for like an hour or so, you jump in between systems for like an hour, and then you suddenly realise like I must be close by now. Zoom out for galaxy map, and it's like no, and you're like you're like four pixels away from Sol compared to where you are towards the galactic center. That game's enormous. Fair enough. Yeah, we're actually talking about this before the webcast. Um, the fact that Just Cause 3 is going to have a massive map, and then you went and found uh, a bunch of other games that had bigger maps. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Elite Dangerous probably has the biggest map. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be quite hard to dispute, it's like I imagine. A million square <laughs> light of years. Its scale. Um, a million square light years. Interestingly, in that game, can you actually kind of explore the planets individually? You can go and scan the planets, but you can't go down onto them or anything. You go Oosh. too close to them and it drops you out of Super Cruise. So something like No Man's Sky, you could argue, has at least a better scale, if you like. Yeah, it's not anything like No Man's Sky, but with the with continued development these days, anything's possible. They could put some procedural generating on it, so you could go and fly in planet atmospheres and stuff. Mm. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. It's more like Eve at the moment, just not nearly as boring. Yes, well, it's well known as an, an Excel spreadsheet game. <laughs> yeah, no Excel spreadsheets in uh, Elite Dangerous. Even the loading screens are awesome. Because you've just got this, like, super cruise kind of, like, uh, frame shift, is what it's called, sorry. Um, and it basically looks like the end of 2001. It's awesome. Cool, yeah. Anyway, I think we should get back on topic. Maybe. So, let's have a chat about um, Konami. And, Konami. I mean, obviously, there is the um, obligatory fuck Konami thing. Um, <laughs> Every week. Fuck Konami. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. But we, we're going to skip over that a little bit and talk about something that isn't quite so fuckworthy. Just the fact that you say Konami's fuckworthy at all, I don't know whether that's an insult or a compliment. I don't, not, that, not in that way. I mean, you know, the, I can... You know, have sex, but Moving not, on. not with, not with game. <laughs> There's a secret in MGS Five that the community must work together to get at. Yeah, and it's quite a cool one, actually, in in its own in its own little way. Um, so the idea is that um, in order to unlock this, you must disarm all of the nukes online. Um, now that sounds. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it sounds doable, but it, in fact, not, it's it's pretty ridiculous. You must not own or currently be currently developing a nuclear weapon. Mm -hmm. You can build nukes in MGS Five. I thought it was a stealth game. Oh, it's online. Um, because you have um, online, you're able to build bases. Okay. Um, which is what Konami wants you to do. Because if you build a base. 
then um, you don't want it to be destroyed. So in order for it to not be destroyed, you're able to purchase insurance for real money from Konami. <laughs> so we'll get back to the fuck Konami stuff right there. <laughs> um, that is one of the most ridiculous and downright scrupulous um Buy insurance for a thing that doesn't exist. Ever designed. Pardon, sorry? Buy insurance for a thing that doesn't exist. Yeah, I mean, it's it's disgusting. It's very Clash of Clans, <laughs> I suppose, in a way. Um, oh, God. It's getting worse. It's happening. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that that's how ridiculous it is. But still, um, so what they've done is they've put in a at least a cutscene. We know there's a cutscene because data miners have found the cutscene and it's readily available on streaming sites um but at the same time there is this whole kind of thing of well okay will it unlock something else in addition to this cutscene um there's talk that there should be additional gameplay for example an additional chapter which was essentially destroyed at some point in development could that possibly be in there probably not but you never know basically is it hidden dlc what DLC? He, he, hidden DLC. Why hidden DLC? Why do we go with DLC there? I What's don't know, the... because, you know, you have to pay for the insurance, and then you work together to get this thing. And, you know, that that's like putting a whole lot of extra steps in between just give them money, get extra gameplay. They're trying to hide the fact that it's just DLC, baby. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. It's a theory. But, uh, th it's there a theory. was interesting... Okay. There was one interesting thing that came out of it was um, they published some numbers as to the number of nuclear weapons owned per platform um, at different dates. So now they've gone down quite drastically. Um, I can see this going somewhere interesting. Thanks to uh, thanks to these um, obviously this kind of unveiling of this secret. Um, so number of nuclear weapons owned per platform. I'll I'll just go through a few of them there. So on November first. On PlayStation 4, there were 2,761. On Xbox One, there was 525. On Xbox 360, 1,011. And on PC, 36,552. <laughs> now, when we then go over to um, November 27th, um, there's been some serious disarming going on. So on PlayStation 4, you've got 228. So that's almost gone down by a factor of 10. Um, Xbox One, there's 50, again, down by a factor of 10. Um, Xbox 360, that's gone down to 65. Um, and the PC, they are on 13,136. <laughs> well, that's gone down as well, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's gone down massively. Um, <laughs> but still. And now I'm not sure what that says about ownership um, in terms of the different consoles or whether it's more a um, reflection of online presence on the different consoles. Um, I mean, for example, that the one that sticks out to me massively is the fact that on PlayStation 4 you've got 2,761, but on Xbox One you've only got 525 on November 1st. Yeah. Um, that's a massive difference, discrepancy in the number of users on those consoles. Maybe it's just because the PC people just do not care. Yeah, I mean, PC is massive, 36,552. I think that says something about the mentality of PC users, <laughs> that they enjoy the... We all play too weapons. much Civ. That's what. Yeah, exactly. That's that was the only is. way to ensure that you won, <laughs> by ensuring destruction. Um, the first but thing also, you I th do is build I a think... nuke when you can. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I think it does say something, though, also about the, um, the fact that in order to play Metal Gear Solid on PC, you need to have an online connection. So that's almost guaranteeing that you, you've got an online connection that you're going to potentially play it online. Mm. Um, so maybe it says something along those lines, but I don't know. I'm still just absolutely amazed um, that the, um, the the potential market of Xbox One in comparison to PlayStation 4 is off by a factor of five. <laughs> that's amazing. I'm I think, quite happy with that. I think they should uh, apply this to world politics. Uh if they can somehow convince all of the world leaders that there is, uh, that <laughs> they will find the treasure trove of Atlantis and all the secrets of everything if they disarm all nuclear weapons in the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe if they just tell them that there's some DLC. Yeah, then, it's, uh, like, <laughs> uh, it's DLC for Minecraft. Oh, get rid of a new J! <laughs> yeah, the only one that holds out is Putin. <laughs> what about North Korea? 
No, I think they do it. No, Russia's more topical at the moment, isn't it? True. And um, what do we call it? Um, Kim Jong Il's uh, brother. Didn't he go to Disneyland? Kim Jong Un. Sorry, Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Il's son. Yeah, Kim um, his Jong Un's son. brother got exiled from uh, North Korea because he went into Japan and wanted to go to Disneyland. Mm. <laughs> There's like a picture of him, and he just looks like a normal guy, a bit yeah, of a geeky I... guy, but you know. I have a lot of respect for him, yeah. and therefore I think that some of that may have indeed what um, kind of rubbed off on his brother. So I'm kind of holding out hope that his brother isn't that much of a dick. Hmm, it's North Korea. Yeah. We're not a political maybe. channel. I swear. We're not. Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, okay, I'll, I'll get rid of all the um, fuck the Tories thing that I was going to say earlier. <laughs> I'll put that to one side. <laughs> oh God. <sighs> Keep your political alignments to yourself, please. I mean, I'm not okay. a Tory, but I just, I just don't want to alienate anybody. This is okay, just a light-hearted gaming channel, and you're talking about hardcore politics. That's not hardcore. I no, can get but... hardcore if you want to get hardcore. Right. Do you want to get hardcore, I want to Nick? Get hard... I don't want to get hardcore. I don't even like talking about politics in my own time, let alone anything else. I keep getting That's dragged right. into politics. Mm -hmm. That's because you're a very politically-minded man. I, um, I try not to be. Yeah. It was my mother being a member of the bloody CND or whatever. Do you remember of a who? Uh, I think it was called the CND. It, it's like it's basically anti-war um, group back in like the seventies and eighties. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Basically, she used to go protest against American bases and stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's very much a hippie thing. Yeah, that's quite cool. Basically. Oh, they're against Trident. I'm I'm happy. I I. I, I was already a fan of your mum. Your mum's cool. <laughs> CND? Th this kind of CND. Is it called CND then? Yes, yeah, CND, okay. definitely, yeah. The, the, uh, the basic, yeah, the, for the peace symbol. Money. Yes, yeah. yeah. Wow, they really don't care about money. In order to, to join, you, you really don't have to care, <laughs> have to pay that much at all. That's a good idea. You pay as much as you can afford. That's good. So I appreciate that. So apparently we endorse CND. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I mean, it well, depends. we are talking about nuclear disarmament, even exactly. though it's in this, the game. So, the, the CND stands for Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that that's very topical. Well, yeah. And well, I don't know. I mean, if you're, I, I mean, if you're a fan of getting blown up and the whole world being going to shit, then fair enough. You know, you don't support CND. Yeah, I don't. Personally, see, I don't see how you can be pro nukes, really. Mm. I mean, I know people say they're, oh, it's a nuclear deterrent. If we don't have them, then somebody else will blow it up with us, uh, blow, blow us up with it. But I, I don't know. Every time I see a footage of uh, like Hiroshima or Nagasaki or something, it's easy to just think, oh, yeah, it's a nuclear explosion. It's easy to forget that there were 10,000 people dying down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what that image actually shows. It is. The image doesn't show an explosion. It shows the death of just a ridiculous, mind-blowing number of people. And I should also state the absolute fuck operate of our environment um, to the extent that geologists in 10,000 years' time will just have nothing to do <laughs> because we've fucked up the Earth that badly well, um, that carbon dating is just out of the window. Uh... Maybe in some parts, but I wouldn't quite go that far because, um, did you know, all of human civilization in a million years uh, will be reduced to a single layer in the geological stratigraphy, the rock record, as like a layer about a centimetre thick. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep, that's fair enough. That kind of says something, and at the end of the day, the world will always recover. Unless we carry on down the track. This is really getting... We are a gaming channel, I swear. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's let's move on. You're, fair. You, 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 you're talking sense. Um, so, Gears of War. Oh, what do we want to say about Gears of War? Gears of War uh, takes place in a post-apocalyptic uh, future where the environment was fucked up and they use nukes. <laughs> Did they use nukes? I don't know, I assume so. I've never played it. Because I, I, I don't have an Xbox, I never have. But that's the point. There's a segue coming in. Where I, I might be able to play it soon, because Gears of War Ultimate Edition is still coming to PC. 
Yay! Yay, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's a weird move. I Did think I really the... want to play Gears of War, though? I never wanted to before, but now it's coming to PC, I'm thinking, oh, I might pick it up. Have a go. Yeah, now, as somebody that had Gears of War at university and asked Nick to play with him, and Nick just outright refused to. <laughs> That's a little bit frustrating to hear. But at that, the same that time... Was years ago, I've, I've grown, I've, I've developed, I've, I've... Matured. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Fair news. And, uh, I've become curious. Okay. Just, just, I mean... just to see what it's going. Plus this picture... To be, to be honest, the first time I saw this picture, I thought, is that a chimera from Resistance? No, mm. it's a locust. Yeah. Yeah, it is very similar, isn't it? Mm. And I uh, love Resistance. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, uh, to be honest, as somebody that has played bits of Gear, Gears of War in the past, I will not be picking this up on PC, um, because it's not that much fun. Well, I did actually play a little bit of Gears of War at some point, probably why I refused to play it back then, uh, mm -hmm. because I'd already tried it, and it's just, I hate the way they move the characters so slowly, so sluggishly, so... Dom, dom, dom. The power, wearing the power armor in Fallout 4 is more agile than these bloody things. Mm -hmm. I shit you not. Yeah, the, for me the big issue with it is the um, that it is the absolute epitome of a, of a cover-based shooter. You yeah. do nothing other than run up to something that is about waist high. Well, it was, um, it was at the time where this was one of the first cover-based shooters, wasn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. Is that a chest high wall? You can blind fire? My god, it's revolutionary. Mm -hmm. Not so much anymore. Yeah, yeah, it was in the same way that Halo was kind of an absolute revolution in um, in first person shooters. Oh on console. Whoa, on, on console. console. Okay, okay. <laughs> Calm your boots, Nick. Okay, okay. <laughs> there is a game called Half Life. But that's completely different. And certainly it did come out on consoles. Half-Life 2. Yeah. And Half-Life 1, actually. It came out on PlayStation, I'm right to say. Half-Life 1? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've actually, yeah, I've actually got that. I've got, actually got that edition. I've got about four or five different versions of Half-Life 1. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on different consoles and, you know, the different versions on Steam and everything. Uh, including Source, the original one. Uh, Black Mesa. Uh, mm -hmm. PS2 version. Uh, but the PS2 version had a really cool additional mode that nothing else has. Well, I think they ported it to PC eventually, called Decay. DK, And uh, it was a co-op game. Yes, I have read about that before, and actually. And I played it through, and it was actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, yeah. And a lot of um, people didn't yeah. know about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's an interesting... Uh, it's an interesting topic, actually, Half-Life on the different consoles. And seeing the... Um, uh, kind of uh, the areas that they had to cut back on well, different versions. If I remember rightly, uh, Half Life 2 on the original PlayStation, not the Xbox 360. No, sorry, the ex mm -hmm. original Xbox, not the 360. Yes, yeah. uh, bombed, as far as I'm aware. Mm -hmm. It just nobody noticed it, nobody cared. Mm -hmm. But it was meant to be really pared down in comparison, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it was supposed to. The original Xbox just couldn't handle it. So when it when the orange box came out for uh, the co uh, at the time next gen consoles PS3 Xbox 360 that was received mm. much better because it was the proper version. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I I would be interested to play it actually on the Xbox. I genuinely would be interested to see just how how good or how poor it is. See, I really don't like playing uh, first person shooters with controller. I say I love the Resistance games, which are, uh, what's the word? Yeah, play, but what's the word? Exclusive to PlayStation. Yeah. But my biggest gripe with them is the fact I have to play them with a controller. Mm -hmm. And I hate doing that. Fair enough. I mean, I, I've played so many games with controllers nowadays that it, it's second nature for me. Uh, but I'm quite happy to, to also migrate to PC. But that's the way around that I see it. I am a console gamer that migrates to PC as necessary. I got, I got uh, ridiculed. Whereas I suppose you're the, the other way around. I got ridiculed so many times uh, because uh, years ago when the first Bioshock came out, I went around somebody's house and said, and let me have a go at Bioshock. And they kept ridiculing my uh, 
ability to shoot straight. They were like, you're a really bad shot. I was like, I don't play console FPSs. Mm-hmm. Stop ridiculing me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's uh, I, I always found that quite odd when I was whenever I was playing different games with yourself because you, you were as a hard a PC gamer. Uh, and, I, and I suppose that that's why it'd be interesting for you to play Gears of War on what you would consider to be your native system. Yeah, that's that's why I wouldn't mind giving it a go because, you know, I might be more uh, reasonable to it. Mm. I don't know, it's just the system it's on. And it'll probably be much the same game, but then again, it's the Ultimate Edition, so they might have worked out a lot of the kinks. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe they'll update it to kind of the later Gears of War controls in some, some way, shape, or form. Yeah, because didn't they actually ease up on the whole moving like a tank thing? Oh, you've got kind of a really nice run, run mechanic. I mean, you have in the first one, but it, it it's better utilised mm. in the later ones. Um, yeah, so I'm... <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it, so I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm just like, eh, if I see it on the cheap, I'm have a go. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's also talk that um, Gears of War might turn up on PC as well. Um, or it, it could just be that Gears of War Ultimate Edition is kind of feeling the water for it. Um, Wait, but what will turn up on PC? Gears of War 4. Oh, Gears of War 4. Okay. It's yeah. going to be a Gears of War 4? Oh, yeah. There's a video for it. A trailer. So this is how much Maybe I care about Gears of War. <laughs> Plus, I thought that the franchise had been put to bed. Fair, fair enough. Um, yeah, that's they, what we they, thought about Halo. Yeah, I mean that—that's really what um, what Microsoft is showing at the moment mm. is that they they are not willing to risk any new IPs, which is a shame. Yeah, pretty much. Um, not that I mean Sony art, I suppose, to a better extent, as something like Bloodborne would demonstrate. But I don't know. Though they did it in the Xbox One life cycle, at the very start of the Xbox One life cycle, they did show off, a, you know, they did have a couple of um, exclusive games that were uh, new IPs and they did not perform very well. That's always the problem when you're going for a new IP because, you know, some of them might completely bomb, others might be the shit. Um, mm. But you just don't know what people will take to. It was very weird, though, that they did it so early in the console's life cycle. Yeah. I mean, ideally, you do that a little bit later on. Um, at first, yes, obviously, you've got to show off new things to demonstrate why people should actually bother coming to the new console. But at the same time, there's no reason why you can't do that with existing IPs that people will be, you know, naturally kind of be drawn to. Well, I, I, I don't know. I don't really see this generation as as much as an advance from like the 6th generation to the 7th generation uh, which seemed like a big step it was a really big deal when the PS3 and 360 came out but now it just seems like a graphical upgrade so it doesn't feel like they're try- trying to push the oh look at, look, at the, look at the amazing new things we can do it's just like oh look we've polished it like all the re-releases of PS3 games that are now coming out on PS4. Yeah, it's the argument of diminishing returns, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I would... I'd say that really they're just waiting for something new to happen in terms of VR. Yeah, um, VR's going to be the next big thing. Yeah, once that happens, then they'll decide what they're going to do, whether that be maintain the current consoles and try to come up with some way to make VR work with those um, which to be fair that's exactly what Morpheus is or whether they will just move on to the next console hmm. I mean VR step I think VR is definitely going to be the next step and I'm getting the big impression that generations of consoles as we know them is coming to an end like because well I say PC it's never been about having Oh, it's the next generation of PC. You've just played like, oh yeah, it's an ongoing thing where you can just upgrade it whenever. Mm-hmm. And I think consoles are more becoming that now, especially more that consoles seem to be becoming more like PCs, mm. or at least some yeah, kind of computer. Extent. Yeah, yeah, uh, certainly the way they play now. But that's one of the incredibly interesting things that's come out just lately about the PS4. Indeed, um, which is that they have unlocked one of the. Um, one of the cores. That's it. Um, that, that's interesting in itself. The fact that they're able to do that these days. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh yeah, download some firmware. It's unlocked a core for you to use now. A better gaming. Yeah, and it's pretty amazing, especially when you consider that um, the Xbox One did it 
um, quite a while ago. And it really did you know, show off some additional things that could happen uh, with the console and helped the console to compete with the PS4. Um, because obviously it has a weaker um, GPU, yeah. somewhat, you know, somewhere near to 50%, so um, weaker. Seriously, I didn't think it was that much weaker. Oh, it, it can be stupid, Jesus yeah. Jesus Christ. Um, I mean, I, the, the, the one in the uh, PS4 is about three times uh, worse than the one I've got in my computer. And the one I've got in my computer is not exactly the best. Mm-hmm. It's one of the best, but not the best. Um, yeah. Whereas um, the Xbox One, because they unlocked this seventh core, this seventh core, um, which was only kind of partially available, some of it was still um, still had to be used for OS. Yeah. It and um, added some overclocking. It was therefore able to compete with the PS4 in a lot of instances, and a lot of times actually. Um, outperform the PS4 when it came to um, CPU processing. Um, but now that so, the PS4 has done the same thing, they've just basically taken that step ahead again. Yes, potentially so. Um, as somebody um, in a NeoGAF forum stated, mind the gap. <laughs> but that, I think <laughs> that just illustrates how much, how well, how little there is a gulf between like a computer and a console these days. Mm-hmm. The fact that they're able to go in and unlock the CPUs and you know, you've know you got the online stuff and the, 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 you can use the consoles for all kinds of other stuff. Mm-hmm. It's just a more convenient computer, really, that sits by your TV. Yeah, I mean, that. to be fair, that's what it's always been. Not, it's not, just the... not really, because back in the day you had like dedicated gaming devices. It can only be used for gaming. Whereas a computer has always been used for all kinds of shit. And now uh, the console's uh, taking on that uh, thing of being able to be used for all kinds of stuff. Mm. I, I guess to an extent, just the fact that um, processing graphics, graphic cards have come so far in such a short space of time, everything is being used for everything. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, my microwave has a colour screen in it. I mean, why? <laughs> yeah. Why does a microwave need a colour display? <laughs> the microwave is better than a console was t- ten years ago. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, it certainly outperforms a lot of my mobile phones that I've had. And in the same <laughs> breath, mobile phones are now ridiculously advanced. Well, mobile phones um, a few years ago were vastly more superior to what we sent people to the moon in. Hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, nowadays, it's just ridiculous what you can do on a console and just how powerful they've become yeah um, and yet we still complain to... <laughs> well yeah um absolutely but that's our nature but well, um yeah, i know i complain about it all the time <laughs> nice um but it's amazing now as well just how cheap phones have become yeah um, especially with the um advancement of um things like chinese market you can get some pretty impressive spec phones for next to nothing if, if you've got a hundred pounds, you can get something that's really impressive nowadays. Yeah, especially compared to a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. When it was very closed off, um, just the whole market was incredibly closed off in comparison um, to nowadays. Well, I, 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 don't, mm, I don't know. It's going to be a little bit harder to go with the whole uh, upgrading stuff. You know, like PC people do. It's like, oh, stick a new thing in. But then again, a lot of people who have PCs don't know how to do that. Mm-hmm. So it's much the same kind of idea. So I don't know. It's... Yeah, yeah. For them, it is a very static thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, I myself have only just kind of become more used to my um, my PC. I mean, yes, I had kind of mucked about with PCs in the past. I, I'm sure that Nick will remember a time when I had a PC that I wanted to shove an old graphics card into, <laughs> and it turned out that the case was too. Uh, too large, uh, sorry, too small to fit it. Yeah, I've had so that So I ended up getting a, um, a kitchen knife, sawing open the uh, <laughs> the uh, the actual case of the PC so that you just had this graphics card sticking out of the top of it. <laughs> it's almost as bad. I'm not sure whether that's worse or the time uh, somebody I knew bought a PC. Like, he didn't build it. This was actually bought, bought. But the cooling was vastly like in, insignificant like not good enough so 
he took off the side, went and bought a uh, desk fan, and just sat a desk fan next to it every time he was yeah. playing a game on full power. It's like, <laughs> nice. you bought this, like, as is. Surely they should have built it correctly. <laughs> yeah, you'd have thought so, wouldn't you? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm thinking cutting a hole in your computer to stick a graphics card in is, is worse. <laughs> Especially when you consider that I used a bread knife. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> ah, student times when we were poor and stupid, but quite innovative, really. Oh, yeah. I Fuck it, it's, so. it's sticking out, I don't care. Yeah, it still works. Yeah. Um, let's play some StarCraft. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think that's pretty interesting about PS4, but interestingly more so... Oh, fantastic segue there, dude. Thank you very much. Um, PS4 related as well. Um, now this is a weird one PS4 Remote Play is officially coming to PC and Mac now bear in mind that this has come out in the same week that somebody here um, has uh, released an unofficial Remote Play app for <laughs> Windows so I'm not sure whether they've just kind of twisted their arm and now they have to bring it out I don't, I don't know but to me, this, I find that pretty interesting to me this seems like a kind of backwards Steam link <laughs> Yeah, I suppose it is to an extent. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's pretty interesting as well that they're doing this on um, what is Microsoft's territory. Um, Microsoft has built into Windows 10 the fact that you can play your Xbox games. Um, but they, met, but Sony have made a big deal about how you can do it with the Sony Xperia. Yes. So they're kind of like, they're, they're sticking to their own territory there and just trying to branch out, maybe? Hmm. Uh, yeah, and I suppose that they are just trying to... I, I personally see it as them taking the war to Microsoft. Them saying, look, we fully appreciate that this is your this is your normal territory, but now we're here. And, you know, yes, this was seen as being one of your killer apps, the fact that you could play um, Xbox games on your... Um, on your PC, and this is one of your main selling points. Well, fuck you, we can do it now as well. <laughs> I mean, it does seem a bit weird, but I mean, like, like I said, it's a backward Steam Link. Instead of playing your PC games on your TV, you now play the console games on your PC. <laughs> and that... I don't know, I don't really see the point of that... Mm -hmm. Because the, I, I can see why people would want their PC games in the living room, but generally a PC is in an office or something. Why would you actively, unless, like, I don't know, somebody else wanted the TV or something, but then you go and play it on the Vita or something? Why would you... I, d I don't know. Yeah, to me, the reason why this interests me is because there's the potential to play it, um, as it says, remotely. Um so you could be, you could just take your laptop away and you will have your PlayStation 4 with you. Actually, I guess, yeah, but you would have to leave your PlayStation 4 on. No, you can, you can turn it on. You can turn it on remotely. But you'd have to leave the Switch on. You'd have to leave your Switch on, but... Which I don't like doing. I don't think I've ever turned mine off. <laughs> this is why we have an energy crisis, ladies and gentlemen. No, it isn't. It's because of the Tories. <laughs> I'm not willing to accept responsibility for this. Uh, people, people are trying to get me to accept responsibility for it. Apparently my computer drains as much power as three refrigerators. Wow. Yeah, yeah I dread to think about that, actually, with mine. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, it's one thing I didn't actually think about as well when I, uh, when I started working from home. Just the amount of additional electricity that I would consume. Yeah. <laughs> you're not consuming the office's electricity, you're consuming your own. Yeah, bad times. I guess and it... especially when I need to use it remotely from... When I need to use my home computer remotely from work, I yep, then have to leave my computer God. on. Yeah, bad times. Yeah, bloody hell. Yeah, I've kind of had to stop doing that because Rebecca shouted at me. <laughs> I think it might have had something to do with the fact that the monitors were still on as well. <laughs> Well, that's that's just dumb. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, I I leave my computer on overnight for uploads and tricks bollocks me. Mhm. Mm yeah, I think I need to, I need to think of a way around. They're saying that. Yeah, there there are there are ways around it, but obviously just it, 
you basically have to degrade the quality of your upload. Mm, that's not going to mm. happen. I would like to up upload in higher quality, not lower. But my internet in my tiny little town is crap. So I want fiber optic. Yep. Yeah, well, I'm sure that somebody will give it to you. Doubtful. Give you all the internets. Give me all the internets. All the bandwidth. Very good, Sometimes sir. Sometimes I just look out my window and see the wire connecting to my house. I think, like, everything's coming along there. <laughs> Fallout 4's coming along there. If I cut that, I'd be screwed. <laughs> if that pole fell down, my life would end. Uh, yeah, I did consider. I mean, I don't know if any of our English listeners were um, were affected by it, but Talk Talk um, had a hack a while ago. Yeah, um, a couple of weeks ago, and I considered changing um, changing provider at that point because this is the third time this has happened or fourth time this has happened in a year, and it's pretty ridiculous. And they should be downright ashamed of themselves. But I didn't purely because. I realised that I would have to go without the internet for a couple of days, <laughs> and I just I, I couldn't imagine how it would cope. Uh, That's I, where they get ya. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, and I'll leave them soon. The douchebags. <laughs> Apparently, they're giving me a free gift um, as a sorry. Uh, <laughs> what free the, gift uh, is it? Oh, no! Like there is nothing that they can offer me. Um, what if they? What if... It's either TV, which I already get from them. Um, it's higher, uh, a better internet connection or a faster internet connection. I already have the best internet connection that they're able to offer me, or like a free mobile sim, which is something that they were offering prior to this anyway. So the fact that they have got the downright balls to say that they're trying to give me something else for free, if if is they were offering you fucking shameful, if they were offering you a PS4, I'd say yeah, take it, stay with them, and give it to me. Okay, Christmas present. <laughs> You should be so lucky. I might buy you four PlayStation 1s. Four PlayStation 1s. Just stick them together and say, it's a PlayStation 4, kind of. Yeah, and they're all just glued shut. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, oh, speaking of which, I, I mean, speaking of which, it's in no way related. Did you see the um, new Raspberry Pi? There's always a new Raspberry Pi. There's always some new thing coming out. A Raspberry Pi Zero. Ooh, edgy. It costs... How much do you reckon it costs? £348. £5. <laughs> That's actually pretty cheap. I mean, sorry, $5. Oh, $5? So I don't even I imagine better. it That's... turns out to, in English to be That's like something like three, three quid. £5. Yeah, but by the time it actually gets here. Um, mm. But yeah, I mean, that's that's amazing. Um, and, and if you... Um, buy the latest Raspberry Pi official magazine, you get one for free. Yeah. It comes packaged in the magazine. Epic. You get a computer packaged <laughs> with a magazine. <laughs> Go back to 1984 and tell them that, that, that that's in their future. And it would yeah. blow everybody's minds. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, and, I mean, and not it just does a, computer, kind of... a computer that's like 700 times better than what they had then. Oh yeah, absolutely. It just comes with a magazine. Yeah, it's, they're, they're ten a penny. There are kind of a few caveats with it. I mean, it's a heck of a lot smaller than the previous Raspberry Pi as well, but it does have a few caveats to it. Um, for example, you need to have a mini HDMI adapter rather than a normal um, HDMI. Yeah, but they're not and too hard to get. All of the USB, um, all the USB slots are micro USB slots. Everyone's um, got them for t uh, uh, phones and stuff. And it doesn't have any form of um, internet kind of enabled in it in any way, shape, or form. So you need to um, have a, a Wi-Fi dongle. In order to connect it up. My, mine's like that, though. I needed a Wi-Fi dongle for... Hell, my computer's like that. My motherboard didn't come with a Wi-Fi uh, wi integrated. Yeah, same here, actually. And I it's, hate that. Uh, and it's a pretty high-end motherboard as well. Mm-hmm. Which is weird. Yeah. So, I mean, that's absolutely amazing. You're talking um, 512 meg of RAM, 1 gig processor. Um, but for what it is... Well, yeah, for hell. like five pounds... Yeah, for five pounds you have a absolutely awesome SNES emulator. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's that's absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I've, I've and the fact that it sits in the palm of your hand. I've I've seen uh, Raspberry Pi used for any number of things. Uh, 
I've got a biotic pie and I haven't actually done anything with it yet because I'm just trying to work out what to, plus I don't know programming and yeah. But yeah, I, I mean, we use them at work. Yeah. Yeah, we have them hooked up at work in order to um, show kind of different things in the uh, workshop. Oh, wow. Yeah, we just kind of have like this weird cable along, uh, well, we certainly used to in the old factory, have a weird cable along the wall. You just then have a Raspberry Pi in the center of it, and then it goes up into another cable, which then goes into a TV. <laughs> um, cool. And it was just like hanging there um, in the middle of the workshop. I've seen Raspberry Pis, and um, uh, there's something else as well called, um, and it starts with A, I can't remember what it's called, but I've basically seen people like make a... Arduino. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know the Stargate? Yes. They built a Stargate model and got it to spin and light up in order. They basically made a dialing program mm -hmm. uh, that controlled all this and routed it through a Raspberry Pi. Well, no, an avoca avocado. Arduino. Arduino, yeah. Avocado. <laughs> yeah, I want to see that. I want to see somebody <laughs> using an avocado as a computer. Look, look at this amazing I like thing I did. It's plugged into an avocado. That that's a good one, Nick. That's that's a pretty good one. I don't um, yeah, Arduino's are pretty cool. Um, though I I've never bothered to kind of look into them, but I've seen. Uh, I've had a friend that that was really into it and made some really cool things. Yeah. Um, he made like a. a an automated um, goldfish haven um, out of his Arduino. So he never had to see his goldfish. <laughs> I get goldfish, I don't want to see them, though. Yeah, um, and, and he kind of created a, a day-night cycle out of the lights yeah. and things like that. It's see, really that, impressive stuff. See, that is cool. If you've got no know-how, you can do all kinds of stuff. And I think that's the reason I haven't used my Raspberry Pi yet, because I want to do something good with it. I mean, mm. I know I can, you know, start again with it, but, you know... Anyway, I think we should move on. <laughs> We're quite yeah, clearly running out say, of time. For me, with my Raspberry Pi, I really want to make a, um, a half-decent um, emulator system out of it. Mm. I just need to actually um, uh, legally purchase all of the games. Yeah. Le <laughs> I'm going to legally purchase all of these games. Exactly, and then download them. Surely, um, so surely yeah. you have them all, though, like in the attic or something somewhere from when you were little. I, I do have a good portion, but there are so many other games that I really want to play. That, because specifically, by the very nature, the games that you want to play are the games that you haven't played. That's true. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and kind of the older I get, the more I realise we're out there. So uh, th I really want to download some decent games. I, I, if I'm being perfectly honest, I want to make my own arcade machine. <laughs> that, that's my See, end that, goal. That, that would be cool. Yeah. And there's, there's a guy at work that's done it. Just, um, just find a bunch of abandoned ware. Yeah, maybe so. Um but I'm, I mean, I've, I've saved like all my old parts from my old PC in order to build it. Yeah. Um, so I've got kind of everything that I need, other than a, the proper monitor. Um, well, but I, CRT I will one day get crap. that. Exactly. Yeah. Because it needs to be a proper CRT, otherwise it's just not worth doing. Oh yeah, really old, really old games on this fantastic LCD. Yeah, but they, you always get kind of the slowdown and, and yeah, different yeah. artifacts that you get with LCD. So I, I just want to do it properly. I'm still um, trying to build up my old, old, old computer. Basically, when I was building my new computer, I put together some components I had left lying around and gave uh, it to my fiancé's brother. To oh, yeah, how do you get on with that? Uh, yeah, he's doing quite well. I've recently given him, um, for his birthday, the uh, my old graphics card, which he's pretty mm -hmm. happy with, which incidentally is like one model down from the equivalent they put in the PS4. Yes, You've actually yeah, got yeah, the does. equivalent they put in the PS4 in your system, haven't you? Yeah, that, that was my... Uh, my thinking behind it was that then it will... Chances are, any PC games that they make which are multi-platform will have to at least support the PS4. Yeah. That will be their <laughs> lowest kind of limit. So by purchasing the same graphics card, I, I basically ensured that I'm going to be able to play games for another few, couple of years. Basically, I've been told that I'm not allowed to get to upgrade my computer again, not to upgrade my graphics card until the PS6 comes out. Okay, I think that's kind of <laughs> fair, with the, with some of the specs of your computer. Anyway, I'm trying to build up an old, old computer I've got, um, mm -hmm. so I can run older games on it. Oh, okay, yeah, so you don't have to kind of emulate them anymore. Uh, yeah, so I've got because I've got them lying around uh, 
I think I might have said before, like expendable and incoming and G police and everything. I've got the discs lying around, but they just don't work properly on my system. Mm -hmm. uh, but the problem is, I don't have half the components of this whole computer, and half the components have required old connections. Like the hard drive, yep. it's an ATA, not a SATA. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, fucking annoying. <laughs> Fair They're not easy or cheap to get hands on. Yeah, you kind of just need to drop on, um, drop on like an old computer in a in a, a newspaper or something. Yeah, yeah. So selling a shit computer for like ten pounds, fine. I'll, I'll rip it apart. I'll take your bits. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I think you need to aim at. Something like that. Yeah. I think that's yeah. the only way you're going to get away with it. Yeah. Other than that, you're going to end up spending way too much on. Yeah, no, Amazon I don't. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Anyway, the very last thing we were going to talk about was chivalry. Um, and That's it's not the last those... thing we were going to talk about, wasn't it? No. What else were we going to talk about? We were going to talk about specs of Just Cause 3. Oh yeah, let's talk about that instead then. Yeah, it's a better, makes for a better segue as well. We're talking about computers, and now we see the specifications for Just Cause 3. Okay then, go for it. The specifications for Just Cause 3 have been released! Yeah. And people are saying they're pretty high, which I guess the minimum specifications are fairly high. You need uh, an i5-2500 uh, or a Phenom 2X uh, with 6 gigs of RAM and a GTX 670. Uh, to get recommended, you need at least an i7-3770 or an AMD FX-8350, 4 gig, 8 gigs of RAM. And the GTX 780, 3 gig. Mm -hmm. So there's not a massive gulf between the minimum and recommended specs. But there has also been a... Well, they've, they've, they've announced a day one patch to try and improve performance. Mm -hmm. So maybe those... Maybe you'll get better on if you had a lower end system. But <laughs> judging by the size of the world and just the amount of crap you can do in this game it seems like then uh, I can see that I can see where those specs kind of come from they're not just about graphics they're about like because you've got all new like physics stuff in them like attaching the grappling hook to multiple stuff and being able to pull things down in dynamic ways and it's just I, I can see where the specs come from yeah it's it's it, it's continuing the current trend of requiring some pretty heavy CPUs um, in order to run these things because a lot of these games nowadays are you're talking about a massive number of things interacting. Yeah, yeah. Um, There's and, a lot of stuff going uh, on. And a screen. lot of yeah, kind of simulation going on in the background. So yeah, it's pretty reasonable that they are going to need some heavy CPU specs. Still not as bad as Arkham Knight though. Well, yeah. I mean, have you heard that that's been updated? Oh, God. And apparently it's been updated. They were talking about how great it is and how you're getting so many games. Oh, um, Digital Foundry have done some um, done some digging, as they always do, and apparently the games the gains from it are absolutely minimal. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. So it doesn't improve things at all, really. It's basically what so, they did yeah. last time. Mm. The, the, the thing that really sticks out to me is in the recommending specs of this, the graphics card, for an AMD graphics card you need an R9290. It's a four gig graphics. Yeah, card. that is kind of nutty. Uh, definitely, definitely optimized to Nvidia there, mm, because yeah. you need a GTX 780 three gig or an R9 290 four gig, mm. <sighs> which is a pretty damn expensive card. I mean, yeah, used you're looking at 250 quid. Yeah, I mean, I looked. Um, they 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 rival some of the better um, Nvidia cards. Mm. The R9, the R9 290. That's a good card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's really really high end but um, for AMD stuff. The l the but minimum it... specifications are kind of more reasonable, I guess. You need a 7870, the the one you've got. Yeah. Two gig. Uh. But yeah. It's... Which I mean, it's not surprising in in the sense that the um, 7870 was really ahead of its time when it came out and it still is like a really Se fast car 78 right. 78 series is a good series yeah yeah I, mean, absolutely. I had yeah, a seven did a good job with that I, I had a 7850 that was a bloody good card that was amazing you've got a 7870 it's really good uh it's probably yeah, why they've put that one in the ps4 well an altered version of that one because it's just a hardy card that can take a load of shit yeah really good for overclocking as well yeah so. i mean it will it will happily, ch <laughs> it will give a damn good shot at running some of the higher end games, 
mm-hmm. on the higher end settings. I mean, you know, mm. it's ridiculous, really. Mm. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, the, the specs are out. They are they are high end. Um, even amongst the the games that are coming out at the moment, the, these are pretty high end specs. Um, but it's a massive world. It's what Absolutely looks like a very pretty enormous. world. Um, and there's going to be a heck of a lot going on if it's anything like any of the other Just Cause games. Yeah, I mean, so, it's just, it's just yeah. a chaos. The, the fact the thing is, you, the currency in the game is basically chaos. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you have to make everything happen. Like, you can be having things exploding behind you, things falling down dynamically, having hook shots on different people at different times, and going into different things, shooting a bunch of guys, cars going everywhere... Not to mention, di- uh, like, uh, environmental stuff, like the trees just blowing. Like, mm-hmm. having trees dynamically low in the wind is really hard. Um, for me, the absolute amazing thing is that just the size of the explosions that you're able to cause. Yeah, yeah. And obviously then everything in that explosion has to react. If you notice that something doesn't react to that, that would be the most jarring thing that Just Cause could get wrong. Well, other, other so than... it just won't. Other than uh, Rico himself not reacting because Rico's a badass. And plus, they, I, I like how they've left in, in this game the fact that if you're falling from a great height and then you hook shot into the ground and put yourself slightly faster, then you will survive. <laughs> they've enough. left that in, that. and I'm really cool. happy because it just makes it fun. You know, that's what that game's supposed to be, is fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the, the, the one thing that Just Cause has always got right is the um, is the fun factor. And yeah. the, it, it, it takes the open environment, and to be fair, it's one of the first real games to have a decent open environment um, with Just Cause 1. Um, but it was also one of the first games to have an open environment in which you could just piss about. Yeah, it's like um, it didn't, Yeah, it didn't, it didn't um, ridicule you if you wanted to just pee about. Um, which a lot of games do nowadays. It still do nowadays for some reason. Yeah, it's like you've spent too long in this area. Move along. Mm, yeah, exactly. Just because it's like, yeah, we don't care. Blow shit up. Go on. Yeah, just go where you want. Blow whatever you want up. Have a good time. Blow up this car. <laughs> blow up this cow. Um, yeah, so I... I just I'm... cause too. Blow up this whale. Yeah. <laughs> there was actually a bit you can blow up a whale. It's crazy. Nice. Um... So yeah, I'm looking forward to the game. I'm probably not going to get it straight away. I know somebody that is. <laughs> yeah, Nick, I know. <laughs> um, I love Just Cause! Yeah. I will be playing it when it comes out. Yep, so, good times. Anyway, from modern blowing shit up with advanced weaponry to halberds and swords. Marty, yeah. talk to chivalry. So, Chivalry is coming to consoles, which is something that we've known. Um, the interesting thing is the um, actual specs when it comes to consoles. Um, for PS4, it's going to be 1080p at 60 frames per second. And at Xbox One, that's coming out at 1080p at 30 frames a second. That, that's... I mean, I, I, th- I think I'm doing the maths correctly when I say that that's half as much. Uh, and that's yeah, insane. Um... Yeah, that's that's absolutely crazy that we're getting to that point uh, because so many games have moved past that. So many games are bringing out yeah, very very similar, if not the same, um, kind of specs when it comes to these consoles. Especially seeing as uh, chivalry is not particularly new. And it's not particularly not, pretty. No, either. no, I was just about to say that it's not really good looking either. Mm. Um, the the other thing that gets me is that they've decided to go with 1080p. Um, at 30 frames per second, rather than do what the majority of people are doing nowadays, which is make it 900p at, th- at 60 frames per yeah, second. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of people are going for 900p. Yeah, I, I'm not sure why they've decided me. to go that way around. Yeah. Um, and it's also coming out very, very soon. Like, really soon. Like, um, tomorrow! I don't. Not tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What day is it actually coming out? When this comes out, it might be tomorrow. I... It, on Xbox One, it's coming out on Tuesday. Yes, so and tomorrow, PS... Marty. Oh, shit, that is tomorrow, isn't it, guys? Sorry, we're not in the past. <laughs> um, we and record on these PS4... webcasts at the weekend, and we have to try and plan ahead. So it's coming out Tuesday. For you guys on Monday, it will be tomorrow. Yep, Unless you want to be on then. tomorrow, and which it's already out. Yeah. Go so the buy PS4 play Chivalry on the consoles. Go on. 
I, I, really? Are we, are we, are we putting that out there? Are we suggesting that people play these games? Well, no. I'm just saying. Oh. By the time they listen to this, it might be entirely. Po We're saying it's coming out. In, it, when they listen to us, it might be entirely possible that they can go on and say, "Oh, it's out. I can play that." Okay. Um, yeah. So <sighs> it's it's coming. It's cool. Um, and interestingly, it's going to have dedicated to servers, which is good. And twenty-four player multiplayer. Actually, which it's coming out is on pretty cool. PS4 on Wednesday. Yeah, it is. Sorry, guys. You have to wait the extra day. Yeah, which could be tomorrow if you're listening to it on Tuesday. Yes, yes. I mean, you might not be. My head's you starting are. to hurt. Shut up. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I, I've played a bit of chivalry. I kind of enjoyed it. I didn't at times, but maybe I'm just not that good at it. Never played it. Really? Yeah, I have it. I know but, it pegged yeah. as your type of game. Why? I don't know. They've got short swords and shit. Just because it has swords and stuff doesn't mean I want to. It play. definitely does. I don't know. Did I strike you as somebody who loves medieval stuff? You strike me as somebody that loves swords. Well, I like Oriental, like samurai swords and stuff, but that's mostly because of their design. There's no need to bring race into this, Nick. No, it's like I, I find. A, su a samurai sword more aesthetically pleasing than a broadsword. Okay. I really don't care about the aesthetics of it. I, I just like using swords. <laughs> I can swing my sword, sword. What was that? Wasn't a song. That's never been a song. Yeah, it has. <laughs> Why are you just making up songs? I'm not making up songs. Pretty sure you just made up songs. I have not made up a song. I swear to your god. My god? Yes, your god. Why would you swear to Thor? Because Thor's awesome. Thor is... He's the only one. He's the only one for me. We even named a day after him. Thor's day. Indeed. Check your damn link. Why? You check your face. I... Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Don't go there. <laughs> what? Just listen to the damn song. <laughs> I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to do that later on. No, listen to it now. We've got like... I'm not listening to it now. We've got like, we've got like two minutes left of the webcast. Just let, You just don't want to admit that it is actually a song. I mean, I'm listening to it. It just sounds really overtly sexual. <laughs> <laughs> For anybody that didn't know, this song was made by Tabuscus. And it's called I Can Swing My Sword. I do not know who that is, but Seriously, he's don't obsessed you don't, with his penis. You don't know who Toby Turner is? He's awesome. I like Toby Turner. Why would I know who he is? Because he's a big YouTuber. You're a big poop tuber On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think we should go, because me and Marty are going to get into a fight otherwise. Yep, with my rapier wit. So right, have a good you, time, guys. me, swords, fight. We're playing Nidhogg. Are you suggesting some form of D club? Because I'm not into that. D what? What D club? No, no, don't know. You not? You don't know what the D club is? I have no idea, and I think we. I don't think I want to know. Okay. See you guys. Hope you had a good time. If you'd like to um, subscribe to us, we wouldn't complain. I mean, that that's probably a good thing. So you should maybe do that all the time. And like Every listen to day. us and stuff. Yeah, I mean we replace we um <laughs> we put stuff out every single day on our YouTube Sometimes account. Sometimes twice. That's a that's day. not even like a joke. There's 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 something every day. I mean some of it's really good. The other stuff I is made. amazing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the every some of the stuff really good, the rest of it's amazing. So you No, I wasn't about to say that. Some of it's really good, some of it's shit that I'm <laughs> <laughs> You can be pretty sure that whatever you're going to listen to, it's going to blow your mind. Like, I... No, I've got nothing. I can't think of anything. Okay. Well, on that really disappointing note... It will talk to you again soon, guys. blow your mind like... The bits in that war film where that guy's head exploded. It'll blow your mind like the end of Raiders of the Ark. Yep. And melt your face. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys. Bye bye. Bye.